All right, so this is obviously kind of a hard video to make talking about the Terra Luna situation of right now. And honestly, I've already done it, but I realized it was a little too somber for my taste. And I kind of decided after dinner and listening to some good music that, no, I gotta, I gotta bring it back and, and see if there's anything we can gain out of this and maybe a different perspective we can look at the entire situation. I know that a lot of people are hurt bad and down bad right now. I have a little bit in the Anchor Protocol and I feel it, but I don't feel it to the level that a lot of people out there, and I'm not trying to diminish what's going on at all, but I'm trying to bring some solution and real world answers to the whole thing and maybe look at it from what we can learn from it so we can come back stronger as an entire community. Because I think crypto is really the answer and the future of decentralized finance or finance period and really Web3 altogether. And honestly, I'm hoping that there's something we can learn out of this so that stuff like this doesn't happen anymore. If we don't take it for that, then it's bound to happen and we're gonna go back to the same old the same old rock we've been sitting on with the banks taking control of everything and governments inflating our money into oblivion. So let's try and find something useful out of this if we can. So bear with me. So the first thing I'm gonna try and talk about is what's the situation right now and what can we do in, if we're in the position of being down bad. So if you're a Luna holder, well, you're pretty much screwed. And I don't mean to say that in a very blunt and unfortunate manner, but the fact of the matter is that it's pretty much down to oblivion. So if your money is currently locked up onto the anchor protocol with part of that 21 day lock period, then your money and value is pretty much gone down to zero. You've lost at least 95% of the entire value of whatever was in there as of two days ago. So if you weren't able to get out and take cut some of those losses already, you're sitting in a position where there's probably a good chance that your best bet is to sit there and do nothing with the hope that maybe it turns around even if it's over the next year, right? It's the hope that this community will come back stronger than it did before and be able to fix this problem or in some way manipulate it so that it comes out on top and raises that value back up. Now, whether it changes the minting mechanism, I don't know what the solution might end up being, but really, again, when you've lost 95% of the value, it's really hard to justify like pulling that loss out in a few hundred bucks. Depends on how much money you have in there, obviously, and how much you need that money right now. If you have other answers to take those gains and ride back up, then maybe do that. So I, I, I don't wanna speak too much to it, but I just wanna say that that's kind of where you are. Your other one is to pull your losses and take them for what they are and go and try and figure out a better place to put the money in. And if you never come back to crypto, nobody will blame you, to be honest. <laughs> now, the second thing is if you're a UST holder and you're also stuck with the same two kind of positions. Now, really we have number one, which is pull your losses out now. Now, as of recording this, we currently had a bounce. It dropped all the way down to 30 cents. Let's be real, this is nonsense. It has gone up back to 70 cents. And so it, now that it is up there, you have a chance to pull something out. And so you might wanna consider doing some sort of steg staggered exit where you do 70, 75, 80, trying to pull as much as you can out of the way with a, a stop loss way down here. You know, there, there is methods to getting out of this maybe on top if you wanna pull out some of the gains in value. Obviously you can try and wait because it has been noted, Do Kwan, actually the founder of Terra Network, actually noted that right now their plan is to let Luna kind of fade into oblivion or print and burn and mint into oblivion, allowing UST to try and get back to its peg. So it seems like the UST holders will be the ones coming out on top in this whole situation, if at all. And I don't want to say on top, but maybe coming out better. And I know that kind of sucks for the Luna holders, and it really does, but part of the algorithm is really that's what it was there for, to keep the peg. The Luna was there to keep the peg. And I really, my heart really does go out to everybody who had liquidations because of the leverage. That, that can't feel nice at all. But going back to UST, staggering your exits or cutting your losses now, and again, moving on to other projects or moving outside of crypto and never coming back, again, no one will blame you, or potentially just sitting and waiting it out till it gets to a reasonable 95, 98 cents and seeing if that can make it. Again, Do Kwon pointing to that that is what it is pointed to right now, the entire network. They're upping the amount of burn rate so that actually will happen faster or there's actually a mechanism I think that automatically allows it to burn faster as it gets further away from its peg. So as it gets closer, it will slow down. So this is probably going to be a period of real scariness. So if you want to do that, just have your, uh, you know, make sure your pants are on tight and, and you're taking your heart medication because it could be a bumpy ride to make it all the way through. I have heard conspiracies about this being an actual forced attack. So this could be another one coming up the rain as soon as it gets a little bit higher and then people start sitting there, boom, they just pull the rug out again. I, I don't really know and I can't speak to it, but th those are the way I see it. A couple of the options that you have in front of you. And I don't really even mean to point as options, but that's really where the chips lie. That's, that's sort of the state of affairs and what we are left with at this point. So from this, I kind of want to talk about what 
do we garnish out of the entire situation? What can we learn from the situation that is worthwhile, that again can make us come forward as a community, as a group of people, stronger? I think the first thing that we really need to address was how did this break down? And if we look at it being the only algorithmic stablecoin out there, the first easy way to kind of look at this is that it didn't have real world assets backing it up or something of the equivalent value backing it up. And that is something that has been noted by many people that is the reason it won't work. And it's kind of been proven in the past by uh, real world economies crashing and we've seen inflation and all those sort of things and not having enough assets to back the money that they've been printing and really causing these sort of hyper crashes that, that can destroy economies. And there might have been some hubris in making a complete stablecoin algorithm that was trying and trusting it 100% and that it was going to be fine in all conditions. In all honesty, up to this point, it has been okay. But that's the thing is that it needs to be under a real stress test, like someone actually trying to attack it. And here's the case. That's what happened. I think it's sad that people would be out there maliciously doing this, but we do need to take, again, the lesson for what it is we probably need to have some assets backing. And I think Doquan even mentioned this in one of his tweets about his plan. He had like a 12 thread um, Twitter post about it where he was talking about number 12 was like, we're probably, if we come back, we're gonna have to have it backed by assets or equivalents, right? So you're always looking for something in the equivalent backing the asset. So if this is at a dollar, we need real world US dollars or things that are worth US dollars, whether they be bonds or treasuries or other USD, uh, C or whatever, you know, not USDT, we don't get in there. That's a whole other kit and caboodle. But something else equivalent backing it that theoretically has the backing to the whole situation. Now, you don't want to get too far away from the US dollar because then problems can also occur. But let's, let's take that lesson for what it is. I think there is going to be a big one to really help come stronger or at least, you know, solidify the UST and USD we see. They just need to make sure they've shored up their, their dams and so this doesn't happen to them. So the other really big thing that I think we can take away from this entire experience and something I've talked to about before is diversification. So honestly, this is going to be one of those massive learning moments for anyone who had everything in this basket is that diversification is absolutely key. And the only way to reduce your, 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 your losses or reduce your risk, so to speak, is going to be spreading it out. Now that doesn't always cover you, but it does help and it is proven to help because there's a lot of different assets that will move at different speeds and that's well known. And honestly, you really should be taking time to assess your risk profile, seeing how you feel about it, seeing what the investment you're looking at has to do and what its potential risk profile is. And I will stop here and say for a second, and I think someone like Max Mayer over YouTube, you should check him out. He kind of talked to this whole thing and saying how he really did his diligence and really just thought the risk was worth it at that 20% anchor rate and how there wasn't, you know what I mean? Like out of all the risky assets, it really wasn't that crazy. And goes to show too big to fail is not really a thing. Like it is, they're all tried, but not true. These are all situations that it's, we're in a whole new space. Too big to fail doesn't exist. And honestly, risk still is there. So keep that in mind whenever you're getting into crypto. And honestly, as on this channel, if, you, if you're at this point and you're still watching this video and you see all my altcoins, you have to remember, we're looking at some crazy moonshots that like have way low market caps and if they get rugged, nobody cares. Like this was a big one and it happened to it. This was a big one and it happened to it. So really take that in consideration. If you're gonna gamble, gamble with pocket change, right? Don't put all of your life savings in the one place, diversify the hell out of things and really do your diligence when it comes to making sure that there's real world backing of anything. And that doesn't just mean assets. I think it means utility. I think it means purpose. What's the reason behind it? Because if you can't come up with a good reason, then it's like, that's easy for people to let go. So I know this was only a couple of things coming out of this video. And again, I'm sure there's other people covering it in much more detail and really giving you a more thorough breakdown on it. I just wanted to put some information out there on my opinions. I felt it responsible just to kind of maybe put some good news out there. Take it back. Put some something other than FUD out there and something we could possibly learn from it. Because again, I know that most of us are going to probably want to come back even stronger. So this is the point where I usually would ask you to like and subscribe, but I don't want you to do any of that on this situation. If you did watch this video and make it to this point, I want you to go reach out to someone in the crypto space and see how they're doing, uh, make sure they're doing okay, or go over to Twitter and send some love to the group of people over there who are hurting and down bad right now because there's a lot of people out there and there's a lot of people probably sitting on sitting on the rooftops, if you know what I mean. So let's 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 be there because I know you would want someone who's there for you to reach out and try and help people who are in a situation that they really don't want to be and didn't think they were putting themselves in. Some of them did, but others didn't. And that's really not fair. It, well, 
it sucks. So go out there and be helpful to someone. Let's come back stronger and uh, let's, let's put this behind us. Let's get out of it and let's move on and find the next crypto moonshot and uh, make a bunch of money. Get those Lambos. You know what I'm saying? Let's get those Lambos. All right, guys, hearts with you. And I hope everyone out there is doing good. Stay safe.